Hello, I want to do a quick Bible study. This is Chaplain Bob. Get your King James Bible, turn to Revelation chapter 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. Now this is Israel. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon. Remember that, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Read Job 38. You'll know that this is the uh, angels, the fallen angels. And his trail tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. That's Christ. And the woman, the church, and the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared to God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So you want to know what the, uh, the red dragon, behold, and behold a great red dragon in verse 3, and uh, verse 9, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the de devil and Satan, right? Verse 10, uh, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Verse 10, and I, be, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child, and the woman was were given and and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that she might that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, let's go to Revelation chapter 9 real quick. Talking about that great red dragon, right? And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. I wonder if that's like a volcano, right? And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which had not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, 
but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. And on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold and their faces as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were, breastplates iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, to slay, for to slay the third part of men. Do you realize that one-third of all the people of the earth are going to die during this period? Oh, yeah. Now, here's the punchline. Verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. Do you know what 200,000 thousand is? That's 200 million an army of 200 million. There's only one country in the world that has ever had the number of population to be able to raise an army that large. And that army is Red China. Red China has uh, one point something billion people. And if you don't know what a billion is, well, like, Ken Hovind said, Congress doesn't know what it is either, but a billion is a thousand millions. China has about 1,500 million people, of which the great majority are men. So even if you took away everybody under 18 and everybody over, let's say, 40, they could still raise an army of 200 million. No problem. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. I heard the number of them. And thus I heard the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. I wonder if that's like a flamethrower. By these three were the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths, for their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of their works, of their hands, that they should not worship devils, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, neither which neither can see nor hear nor walk, neither repent a day of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornications, nor of their thefts. People, let me tell you something. Red China, their flag is red. Uh, and they have a calendar called the Year of the Dragon. And they every year they have a, a dragon parade. I mean, just look at the pictures. What can I tell you? So, the great red dragon. Who do you think China worships under communism? More people have died under communism uh, than any other system in history that I'm aware of. But not only that, in Russia, they murdered millions, untold millions of Christians. So, the great red dragon, people... An army of 200 
million. Think about that. So, you know, take a look at the pictures, people. The Great Red Dragon. Revelation chapter 12. That old serpent called the dragon, uh, called the serpent, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the Great Red Dragon. Uh, in number th uh, Revelation 12, 3. And uh, verse 9, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan. In European literature, uh, dragons were like, uh, they were more like uh, dinosaurs. But in Eastern culture, the dragons were more like a serpent. So, I don't know. Think about that when you, next time you read Revelation 9 and 12. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Chaplain Bob signing off.